impacts from the rain from this first system, not, anticipate, uh, not anticipated to be the strongest of this series of storms. Earlier today, the North Coast saw the rain first, and now it's progressing through the area. I've updated these as of a few minutes ago. San Luis is closing in on a half inch of rain. Cambria now over an inch of rain. Los Osos over a half. Guadalupe closing in on a half. Vandenberg Village now with more than a half inch of rain. Again, it's still coming down, so all these numbers are moving around. This system departs tomorrow morning, then a gap for the weekend, then the main event is next week. Storm 2 on Monday. Storm three on Tuesday into Wednesday, storm four on Thursday, and all of those systems have more potential than this one. So aerial flood advisory, Santa Barbara County through 315. This means anywhere in this area, we can see localized road flooding, creeks flowing. So that's a concern tonight as the rain rates start to pick up. Current conditions look like this. Mid 50s across the area, low 50s in Paso Robles, rain being reported, southerly winds up to 20 miles per hour. Here's the system moving in, southerly winds and inside of these showers, pockets where the rain is coming down at higher rates. Cold, unstable air as well. We could see isolated thunderstorms and with that, higher rain rates as well. So looking back up along the north coast, we did see some rain rates up past a half inch per hour. Those have waned. Across Santa Barbara County, you get a real spread. You get some of the rain coming down at less than tenth of an inch per hour and some rain rates over a half inch per hour. If you get that for too many hours, then you start to see flooding. So this is a look at the modeling through 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, heavier rain, mostly for the south coast. Some of the activity on the central coast will wane overnight tomorrow. Variably cloudy skies, a few pop up showers here and there, but much of the weekend actually a break as we'll sit in between systems. Sunday evening into Monday, the next storm arrives and this could start a string of storms with not a lot of gaps between them. So how much more rain tonight? For San Luis Obispo County, between light amounts and a half inch, and in Santa Barbara County, we could still see another inch or inch and a half of rain. And then into Monday now, you're looking at cumulatively three inches of rain, and that's with just two storms. So high surf advisory, Central Coast, 8 to 13 feet. South Coast, high surf advisory, 4 to 7 feet. So there you can see the system clearing out the gap. The next system on the way Sunday into Monday. Then we see Tuesday still raining, Wednesday still raining, Thursday more rain. And the latest modeling tonight, if anything, has become more bullish on that Wednesday into Thursday storm. So let's look at the midweek forecast. This is 2 a.m. Wednesday. This is all rain combined. You're looking at two to five inches of rain and getting out into late next week. Could we see some place exceed eight total inches of rain? It's possible. The modeling has been very consistent on this. It all counts on tapping into the subtropical moisture we call the atmospheric river, and that's still showing up on modeling tonight. Overnight lows won't drop much, so you're looking at temperatures right around 50 degrees and daytime highs tomorrow right around 60 degrees for much of the area. A little cooler inland, again, variably cloudy skies, some scattered showers, most of the rain tonight into early tomorrow. Then we get the break for the weekend. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, rain returns, daytime highs hover, mid-50s, low-60s. Richard.